uh, one of the most debilitating psychiatric disorder is probably schizophrenia. And it, it, it's very um, depressing to patient to the family because it happens usually at the best years of their life, right? During high, late high school or early college years. So they are very productive learning time. And, uh, the, you know, it, we don't, still don't have a very effective treatment. And the reason uh, is, one of the reasons is, we actually didn't know what to call it, right? So now with a large scale, just in the last 10 years, or less than 10 years, large scale genetic sequencing have, has revealed many genes that are uh, very, significant, very significantly contributed to schizophrenia. With that genetic factor, now we can make animal models. So now in the, uh, in the last uh, three years, uh, several labs at the MIT, Broad Institute, and Harvard have generated these models based on these new genetic findings. Now we start to understand, using these animal models, we now start to understand uh, what are the changes at a molecular cellular level, what are the changes at a circuit level. Now we are starting, starting to identify um, targets that can improve um, the, the cognitive dysfunction uh, in, the, in, in um, schizophrenia. And of course, this is still in mouse, but this is the first step. So we are, we are starting to, to be able to study them. Um, the other really, uh, one of the most common uh, psychiatric disorder is depression. Right? It affects probably um, around 10% of the uh, population. And we have some therapeutic treatment, some medicine, but most of them are not very effective, especially to um, uh, you know, severe depressions. And, uh, yeah. But also the other problem is depression is probably a major cause of the suicide. You know? So um, depression is much less genetic. That means it's difficult to use genetics to, to generate models. So uh, the way to, use, to, to generate animal model is to actually based on the neural circuits dysfunction. So that's kind of uh, allow us to really inducibly uh, uh, to generate a depression-like behavior sh at a short time, and then find a way to treat them. And so you don't make the animal actually long-term depressed, but you can induce them. So these are the new things we can really start to study, which was not really possible before.